We are back at New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg for more action from the Pro Series Ultimate Ladder Tournament. We have arrived at the third round of match play and we're going to see two matches here on lanes five and six. Brian Feast will be taking on Dave Malahan and on lane seven, eight, Chris Sacchetti takes on Jeff Surratt. So Chris Sacchetti will get the action started on lane eight and he wastes no time getting it started with a strike. Let's have a look at this on replay. This is very similar to a couple of the strikes he had in the previous match. Sort of a medium wall shot and excellent sidewall action there. And that's, uh, that's a good thing too because you can be sure that Jeff Surratt is not going to uh, waste any time. He gives no quarter. So Chris is well advised to get off to a fast start. Brian Feast with a spare on um, lane six. Brian, as you probably know, is one of the regulars on the uh, on the South Shore. He's recently joined up this year with Maria Subs in the uh, both the Friday Night Pro League and the World Team Tournament. And Brian and his partner Skip Easterbrooks have won a couple of doubles events on the Pro Series. So he's definitely established himself as a, uh, a force to be reckoned with. Jeff Surratt steps up on lane 8 and he misses the head pin. But it's a strike. And Jeff uh, can hardly believe it. And he's uh, taking a little bit of uh, good-natured abuse from the fans. And let's take another look at how this happened. He misses the head pin. But he gets some sidewall action. And it looks like he's going to leave the four horsemen. But the seven pin goes down. And it pushes this piece of wood into the four. And things go right up the hill. By the time it's all done, he's got a strike on the board. Anyhow, that's a that's going to match the strike that Chris Sacchetti put on the board in the first box. Dave Malahan is up on lane six, bowling against Brian Feast, and that's a double for Jeff Surratt. That one's more conventional. We'll have a replay of that in just a second. This one, uh, just a 1-3 pocket hit, and the 5 and 8 are the last two pins to go, so Jeff is off to a flying start as well with, with a double strike. Chris Sacchetti comes back up. He's got 29 after 2. And there's a strike by Dave Malahan on lane five, bowling against Brian Feast. Nice one-two pocket hit. And the eight pin is the last one to go. So Dave will have 17 through two with the strike fill remaining. Chris Chichetti on lane eight, dropped eight, leaving the six nine. And he's got it. Spare in the third for Chris Teddy. Chris, as I mentioned, is a member of Crazy Train. He bowls out of lanes and games in Cambridge, where he also works. I might add that lanes and games will be the site of the Pro Series playoffs coming up on May 12th of 2012. So if you want to see the uh, the top 24 bowlers on the Pro Series go at it in match play, that will be happening at 2 p.m. on May 12, 2012 at Lanes and Games on Route 2 in Cambridge. And 
and Chris with a 10. He's got 51 after four. Brian Feast, meanwhile, is open in the fourth box after throwing a strike in the third, and he has got 53 after four. Jeff Surratt looking for a triple strike. Gets a little too much of a head pin and punches out a spread eagle. So he's got 24 through the first box and still fill another ball to uh, to fill that strike in the second. And he's got eight on the second strike, so 42 through two. Dave Malahan has the 4-7-10 with some wood that might help convert. And he, uh, he makes it. It's, uh, have another look at this shot by Dave Malahan. Nice shot there. The wood helps him convert the 4-7-10, but he, uh, he plays it perfectly. So he's got a spare on that strike that he had in the second, uh, second box. And it's another strike by Dave Malahan. So he's got 47 through three, and then the strike in the fourth. So he's got 57 plus to 53 for Brian Feast. You can see Hawk Hallis over there on lane four. Hawk is one of the one of the top bowlers in Massachusetts. And that's another strike for Brian Feast. Let's have a look at this one. It's a little slower. Hits very full on the head pin, but he gets he gets a uh, splash. Pins go to the sidewall, and you can see the seven goes, and then the ten goes, and finally the nine pin goes. That's a strike in the fifth frame. Chris Cicchetti drops six, leaving the four horsemen on the right side. And Brian Feast missing the head pin, dropping five. Wow, Chris Cicchetti had a, a nice bid on the four horsemen, but didn't carry the 10 pin. And there's a nice shot by Brian Feast for the spare on lane five. Brian has 83 plus a ball through the fifth. As Dave Hodge comes back to fill that strike that he had in the fourth. Dave, uh, Dave Malahan. And there's a strike by Chris Cicchetti. Bear. 67 through 4, so he's leading by 14 over Brian Feast right now. And here the strike by Chris Cicchetti, it's kind of similar to the one that Brian Feast had. It's a splash, very full hit on the head pin, but the 2 and 3 go flying off the sidewalls and take everything out. Jeff Surrett with an 8 drop. Leaving the 4-7 with a plank. He's got it for a spare. Meanwhile, Dave Malahan punches out the 4-pin. So he only has a 5-pin lead now over Brian Feast. It's 78-73 uh, through 5. He makes a nice bid at the spare to come to bounce back. And in fact, he's got it. Didn't think that 6-pin was going to go, but it did. So... It's still a five pin lead for Dave Malahan. 88 to 83 through six, and both he and Brian Feast have got spares to fill in the sixth. Jeff Surrett misses the diamond, but converts the uh, two four for a 10 box. And that gives him 88 through six. Chris Cicchetti with 71 with a strike, so his Chris Cicchetti trails Jeff Surrett by 17, but he's got this strike to fill in the sixth, so he can cut into that lead 
whatever he gets on his first two walls in this frame. He's got five. Brian Feast had a five fill on the spare and then uh, a nine box. And another great bid by Chris Sacchetti. But he doesn't quite carry that last pin. So it's going to be a, an open box. But he does put nine on that strike. So that cuts it to a deficit of eight pins. 80, uh, 88 to 80 through the sixth. And then he has a, uh, Chris Sacchetti has a 10 in the ninth, in the uh, seventh box for 90. like to put a mark up here on the board to uh, put a little pressure on Jeff and he's got eight. Chris has the 610 with a plank in front of it. Got it. Dave Malahan puts four on his spare. So he leads by four through six frames over Brian Feast, 92 to 88. He's looking at the spread eagle with a piece of wood that might help a little bit. And it's gonna be just seven for Dave Malahan. That cuts his lead to two pins, 99 to 97 through seven. Jeff Surrett with a nine box. His lead over Chris Sacchetti is reduced to seven, 97 to 90 through seven. And now he's got that spare by Chris Sacchetti to worry about. It's going to be an eight drop for Jeff Surrett. He's left with the three and six. And some wood that will probably make this easier to make at least to prevent him from chopping the three off the six and he's got it so it's still a seven pin lead for Jeff Surrett as Chris Sacchetti comes up for his last two meanwhile it's really a close one between Dave Melahan and Brian Feast Dave leads 108 to 105 after eight there is a nine drop by Chris Sacchetti He's still down by a mark to Jeff Surrett, so he really needs this spare. And he just goes by the eight pin. You really don't want to do that against Jeff Surrett. He's got the 10, so that gives Chris 119 through nine. But it's pretty safe to say that he definitely needs a mark in the 10. Brian Feast with an eight box. He's got one 13 through nine. And Brian pretty much needs a mark in the 10th because he's down three pins and then he just left two more on the deck. So it's, in a sense, he's down five pins. And Dave Malahan would not need a mark unless uh, Brian's able to get one here. There's a nice shot by Chris Sacchetti, converting that 3-5-10. And Brian Feast with a spare. Let's take a look at both of these on replay. Here first is the spare by Chris Sacchetti. Clutch shot right there, because he absolutely needs that mark. And similarly, Brian Feast has to have this spare, and he's got it. A couple of timely marks there. Chris needs a big fill here. And he's got nine. So that is a 138 game for Chris Sacchetti. Jeff Surrett has 107 with a ball. So that's probably going to force Jeff to get a mark. Uh, meanwhile, Brian Feast drops six to finish with 129. And since 
Dave Malahan has 108 through 8. That means that Dave is going to have to get a mark if he wants to win this match. Doesn't have to have much on it because he just needs 21 to tie, 22 to win. And there's a spare by Jeff Surratt. Let's take a look at it. Perfect. 1, 2, 7, 10. So Dave Malahan over on lane 6 needs a mark to catch Brian Feast. As I say, he only needs 21 to tie, 22 to win in, the, uh, in these last two boxes. So he doesn't need a big mark, but he does have to come up with a mark. Otherwise, Brian Feast will move on. And there's a clutch 9 drop by Jeff Surratt. That's going to give him 132 through 9, which is enough, plus the 9 is enough to win against uh, Chris Sacchetti. So Jeff will be moving on. Dave Melahan misses the head pin, but comes up with 9, leaves just the head pin. And he's got a piece of wood that should serve as a guide. Ooh, but Dave misses that head pin. It's very uncharacteristic of Dave Malahan to miss a routine spare like that, but it goes to show that even the best bowlers in the game occasionally miss a spare that you think they're going to make. So Brian Feast will walk away with a 129 to 124 win over Dave Malahan, and Jeff Surratt with a 152 to 138 win over Chris Sacchetti. Here we'll take a look at the score sheets. First, the, uh, the win by Brian Feast over Dave Melahan. As you can see, both guys had five marks. The difference here was that Brian had slightly more on the fills, and Dave just left too many pins on the deck, including that uncharacteristic miss in the last frame. So Brian Feast will move on to the next round of match play. And here is the score sheet between Jeff Surrett and Chris Sacchetti. Both of them started off fast and then kind of a lull in the middle and then Jeff Surrett came on with three marks at the end to put the match away. So Jeff Surrett is the winner 152 to 138 against Chris Sacchetti, and Jeff will move on to the next round of match play here at New Palace Lanes.